What's good, YouTube? Andre here with the DM Network, y'all. And today I want to do a review of a product here, the Razer Hyo, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, and real quick to show you what it looks like, uh, it's here. And you see the indicator light whenever it's plugged in, lets you know that it's in. That's the camera lens. And you also have a LED light here that uh that's bright that you can even adjust the brightness by turning this uh the, the dial here on the side now i know that this video quality right here is bad um but this is coming from the webcam not the um not the the razor kayo so to show you what the razor kayo looks like um this is what the razor kayo looks like when you put it on the camera, but you can see how me talking is kind of delayed and things like that. Well, watch this. Boom. This is the view that is coming from the Razer Kayo. So a lot better uh, image, um, a wider image also, and a lot clearer image. And right now I don't have the light on, but when I turn the light on, you can see um the ring light it is pretty bright and a lot of times if i'm using this you know i'll take off my glasses i, I don't like the glare that's on it uh but you can uh brighten it up you know pretty bright depending on the light in your room the lighting here isn't bad so i wouldn't record like with this light right here on full blast like that because i have pretty decent lighting for the most part uh so a video like this uh I mean, I, I, I could just do it just like that with uh, the lighting that I have right here in the room and stuff like that. So it's a pretty cool camera, um, a webcam, and it's it, it costs about 100 bucks. Uh, this is the box again, I guess, in HD. Um, it goes up to two uh, up to 180p. Uh, looking on the back here, you have the multi step ring light. That's what I just showed y'all there. And it's it is bright. Um, you have 720 at 60 frames per second HD video. Um, that's what's advertised on the back, but it can also go up to uh, 1080p uh, at 30 frames per second. Uh, and the software is compatible with open broadcast software or OBS, which is what I'm using right now, and XSplit. So that's really cool there. Um, now, it is part of their streamer uh, broadcasting studio from Razer. And like I said, it costs about a hundred bucks. So is it worth the value? Looking at some of the other webcams, uh, you got a lot of Logitech that was out there uh, that range, you know, anywhere from 25 bucks up to 50, $60. Um, the reason I chose the Razer Kayo is because Razer is a brand that goes towards uh, gaming and gamers and things like that. They make gaming laptops, PCs, uh, the chroma keys and I, I just love their brand they're they they're colorful they're they're innovative and it for me you know with them understanding gamers and streamers and things like that you know it, it, it it's pretty cool to go with them now for the value for me this was extremely valuable looking at some of the other webcams I didn't see the image to be this clear and things like that and also to be able to have the light here really helps if you need it like you know right here the lighting looks good if i'm backed off when i turn it off you see the difference so you definitely can uh play around with it you know if i move in closer then you see the light is it's a little bit too much so and the cord is actually fairly long the usb cable so and it even comes with a mounting bracket underneath the camera uh that you can mount a tripod to it or something like that that way you can it doesn't have to be connected to the top of the laptop or or whatever the case may be you can kind of move it there um and then of course in obs you could play around with the features there um looking at the um looking at like the, the balance the white balance and stuff like that that's standard and i'll show it in another video but i just wanted to show the comparison uh between these two so now Let's look at the difference side by side. So you have the standard HP webcam and the Razer Kayo, and you can see there is a huge, huge difference. When I very first started streaming on YouTube, 
or doing videos on YouTube. I did use my webcam because I could just record and that's all I could afford at the time. But you see the difference in the standard HP webcam. Look at the lighting over the top, how it washes out. Now, both of these cameras are set to the OBS default setting. So I didn't change anything. Razer does have an app that you can also download to give you a couple of more features outside of OBS and things like that. I'll do that for another video as well. Um, but the colors, the contrast, the brightness, and also the wide camera angle is a lot different as well because when we go back to here see this is how wide this is that's as wide as the webcam can get and this is how wide the uh Kayo can get a wider uh screen there but then like i said with the side by side comparison there's a night and day difference even in the see that see the delay there it's not much but it's enough to tell a difference that when i'm talking my words match up or sync up with my lips better with the Razer Kayo than it does with the standard webcam. Now, hopefully in the future, they can make one that goes, that gets 60 frames per second um, at 1080p, uh, stuff like that. Maybe with a more powerful laptop, uh, OBS on my, here, on my system here can um, process the stuff that the Kayo is able to do a lot better. Um, is it worth the money? Yes, it is definitely worth the money, in my opinion, because uh, quality does matter. You know, there are people who are doing good videos that don't have a lot of quality, but I've gotten several comments when I use the webcam and that's why I stopped using it. Um, and I also have a, a separate camera, but I, I did get a lot of people saying, man, you need a better camera. You need a better camera. Quality does matter now. Everybody has HD TVs. They have 4K TVs. LED displays, OLED, QLED, quality matters. It does. So if you're an up and coming YouTuber, streamer, whatever, quality does matter. It, it does. People do pay attention to that. You know, if I'm watching a television show, I would rather see this image here, the Razer Kayo image, uh, rather than the standard HP webcam type image. So uh, it is definitely worth the money. And like I said, with the light here, uh, the ring light is also a really cool addition uh, because it does affect the lighting. Like I said, if I'm backed off here, you know, I can I can adjust that lighting depending on where I'm at. If I'm up close like this, don't necessarily need it. Backed off a little bit, I'll turn it on one notch or something like that just to help out with the lighting. But then too, you can see how it does with the lighting overhead. See here, my hand is blurred out because of the light, but in the Razer Kayo, you can see it perfectly fine. You can see the details in the hat, the clothes, the colors, everything pops. And it's really, really cool. It's a really cool camera. And I'm super, super glad that I bought it. It's, it's brought new life to my videos. It's brought new life to my streams and stuff like that. I just got it um, a couple days ago and I, I've loved it ever since. It makes doing videos fun because you have that quality element in there. Um, and you're able to do different things like the green screen effects and things look a lot better, the chroma effects and stuff like that. So all in all, I'm super excited for the product. Um, I, I love it. I would recommend it to anybody uh, that's going to be uh, on YouTube doing videos. If you're streaming, if you're just making regular videos, I would recommend this product right here. Um, and this video isn't sponsored by Razer. They I mean, they, they, I have no affiliation with them, no affiliate marketing or anything like that. I'm just giving you a review of this and letting you guys know, um, letting y'all know that this product is out here. Now, I got this one from Walmart um, and it was about, it was, this was the last one that was left. So people are getting this product. Um, but if you're wondering, man, sh should I get a webcam and which webcam should I get? You cannot go wrong with this. I don't think you would be hard pressed to uh, to get this. Now, are there some better cameras out there? Possibly um, with that one being a hundred bucks. I'm pretty sure there's some cameras out there that that cost more that maybe give you the 1080p at 60 frames per second or even the 4K. But you really don't need 4K. You know, the, the 1080p is great. It works fine. The majority of people have uh, 1080p monitors and things like that. So getting 4k the only people that will benefit from that are people with 4k unless they have super sampling and stuff like that but that's another story for another day but all in all y'all it is um 
it is a super cool camera to have. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm really having fun with it. And I'm looking forward to doing all my my laptop type videos with it. I, I will use the other camera from time to time, but this is really efficient. It is really easy to use and it is plug and play. So there's no software that you have to download. Pop it into the USB, open OBS and, and you can go there using it. So that's all I got for right now, y'all. Let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, thanks for watching.